Hi friends, are you ready to do some work with me? Work that's very similar to the work that we do in our classroom? Awesome! So friends, unfortunately because we're at home, things have changed just a little bit. Because I don't have all my equipment and the tools that I use and the trays that we work with ready and available to us, I've had to become a little bit more creative. And I encourage you to be creative too at home. So for this work, I've created my very own wash line. All we need is two chairs and three pieces, strings of yarn, and tie them to our chairs. You might want to ask your favorite grown up to help you with this part. You can even try and create it on your own. Once we've got that done, you're going to have to go and ask your favorite grown up where the clothing pegs are and go get yourself some clothing pegs. Got those ready? Awesome. Great. Now, I all know you have socks at home. So go get those socks, guys. You got them? Awesome. Now we are ready to do our work. So what we're going to do is we're going to unfold all our socks. You can have as many pairs as you want or as few pairs. It doesn't matter. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do, friends, is I'm going to ask you to take three pairs of socks. Now remember what I said, I said three pairs. So how many socks is that? That's right. That is six socks because two socks make one pair. And we're going to take our socks, because they're nice and clean, and we're going to hang them on our line. All right. How many socks are we hanging on our line? Six pairs of socks. How many? Six socks, sorry. And how many pairs is six socks? That's right, friends. It's three pairs. Now, I didn't even try and do this, but I have hung mine from longest to shortest, the socks. Can you guys arrange your socks from the longest pair of socks to the shortest pair of socks? Great work. Now we're going to take our socks off and put your clothing pegs back in your buckets. Good job, friends. Now, I want you to take, so remember, I want you guys to have a few different colors of socks, lengths of socks. So what I want you guys now to do is, I want you to place six pairs of socks, uh, six socks, three pairs of socks, from lightest to darkest. So you don't even have to do pairs, friends. Let's just do any six socks. And we're going to do it from the lightest you don't even have to have six you can have a few more let's use three for now i don't have that many colors here all right so i have gone from lightest to darkest and now we're going to take our socks off. Now I would like you to hang two pairs of socks. How many is two pairs? We're going to need four socks. Okay. So now I've hung your four socks. Now I want you to add five socks onto your wash line. One, two, three, four, So how many socks 
socks do I have on my first line of socks? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six socks. So now I'm going to just move these ones over like this so you can see the second row of socks. On my second row of socks, how many socks do I have here? I've got one, two, three. Now, if we count the other socks, how many did we have there? Six. All right, let's see what three plus six is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job, friends. Now, I want you guys to think of more ways of adding and taking away your socks doing from longest to shortest, from shortest to longest, lightest to darkest, and placing all your socks on the line. Once you are finished doing this work, this activity, we are going to fold our socks. Some of us have been doing really well at folding socks in the classroom. Some of us need to just practice a little bit and then we'll be perfect. So, as we take our socks off the line, we're going to place them together. We're going to hold the th three sides and take one like that. We're going to push it in and bring the other side over. So I would like you to try and fold each pair of socks that you have used. Match them together so that you got pairs. Pairs are of the same. My little boy likes to put the socks, a pink and a purple together, and a green and a pink together, when he helps me fold the socks. And we're gonna fold all our socks up nice and neat. Remember, when we are finished doing work, or playing, or an activity, or a craft, it's always good to be helpful, and help your favorite grown-ups around the house, and clean up once you're done. I hope you have lots of fun and exploring with this activity. There's so many ways and different things you can do with this adding and subtracting, putting them on and off, patterns where you can do one green sock, one pink sock, one blue sock, one green sock, one pink sock, one blue sock. I really encourage you to explore with this and do this anytime. You don't have to just do it today. You can find one day that you're sitting there and you're not sure what to do and you think, I want to go and play with pairs of socks and do some maths with it because that's what it is that we're doing. And we are using our fingers. Have lots of fun and a great weekend, friends, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye.